important to wear those jackets, uh, especially uh, this time of year when everyone's out there trying to cool off from these uh, hot temperatures we're having. Yeah, temperatures in the upper 80s, some 90s. The river's right now in the mid 70s, so they've warmed up through the course of this summer so far. So a lot of folks out there enjoying the beaches and everything. Uh, in between at the rivers and it is a good idea to wear that life vest always 87 degrees was our high today in Portland. I hope you had a wonderful week and that was back to back days where we had temperatures right there in the upper 80s. The normal high is 83 the Oregon coast in the 70s and it gets a little bit warmer as you head to the east. The Dow's at 98 degrees today. Tomorrow I think we're back to well temperatures probably in the mid 80s to upper 80s once again. So that's going to put us on a stretch there. We've had at least three days, but we've done that or at least close to it. Uh, you can see 7 a.m. through 10 a.m. It's nothing but sunshine again. So that's back to back days as well, where we're just going to see that beautiful blue sky. By the time you get to the late afternoon, evening hours, do expect those temperatures probably about 85 and above, I think, for tomorrow. Okay, we have some weather alerts. We have two different things going on west of the Cascades, just your summer typical pattern, and then east of the Cascades, things ramp up a little bit, especially through areas of the gorge and off towards the east. We have a red flag warning goes into place tomorrow at 1 p.m. and then it continues into Tuesday. So it's going to be that window there as we go through Monday afternoon and evening and then into Tuesday as well. And you can see the blues and the Wallawas there also with some weather alerts due to the potential of maybe some thunderstorms. It extends all the way down to the south as well. So it's not just Oregon. We have a lot of action going on and we know how warm and dry and the air quality factor it all together. And uh, that's what's been sparking some of those weather alerts for the last week or two on and off. Wind gusts forecast for the Dow's because of that red flag warning tomorrow. You can anticipate the wind to pick on up and definitely by the afternoon overnight fairly tame, but then we gust to probably the 30 mile per hour range 35 somewhere right around there. And the windiest part of the day is going to be that slot from about 4 to 7 p.m. Uh, speaking of slots here, this is actually a dry slot. This is the water vapor loop behind me. So the yellow is the dry air and the blue is the moist air. And you can see how that wind pulls through that dry air from the southwest to the northeast. Watch what happens to the course of the day. We start bringing in some of the blue. We start bringing in some moisture and that's going to stick around tomorrow. And we put moisture into the equation. Then we may start seeing the development of some thunderstorms. But you know that that wind is moving to the northeast there. So that's going to continue to drag that smoke in that direction. Shouldn't see much smoke west of the Cascades. But I would bet that we have some haze out there, especially around areas of Mount Hood Meadows and uh, through government camp for tomorrow. All right, current air quality is in the green. We're not dealing with anything there, but there's some yellow and some red out there, and that's because of the ongoing smoke plume that you can see from the Boot Lake fire that really picked up steam again today. And you can expect that probably the next couple of days because it's going to be breezy and it's going to be dry out there. Satellite and radar showing some of that moisture pulling in from the south there. We actually have a thunderstorm potential tomorrow for this whole section of green, and I'll show you here on the future cast as well. We're dry in the morning. Nothing to really deal with, especially west of the Cascades. Nice start of the day. Go for a walk, something like that. But in the afternoon, as we get some heat, we get a couple thunderstorms developing right there. And those are the thunderstorms that may produce some lightning as well. All right, seven day forecast. As I mentioned, sunshine for days. It continues through the week. It cools down a little bit as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday into the lower 80s, upper 70s. And then we're into the mid 80s again, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Not a lot of extreme heat, but uh, it's a nice summer pattern setting up. And maybe one or two clouds. One or two, that's about <laughs> it. Right, thanks, still ahead.